name is Dial Fiona. My tendency absent is 27. So I make this video to complete an English assessment about presentation in English. I want to thank to Mrs. Dewi Nepita as my lectures. And then I'm going to give a presentation about the topography of the ocean floor. The presentation will be in two parts. First about introduction and the second about the topography of the ocean floor. And the second topic will cover with three components. First about the uh, continental margins and the second about the deep ocean as basin and the third about the mid ocean range. First, I'd like to talk about why do we care about the oceans. Seas and oceans are blue beauties of the planet Earth. Oceans are a vast body of saline water occupying the Great Depression on the Earth. They belong to the hydrosphere and cover almost 97% of it. Oceans cover 361 million square kilometers of the Earth's surface. The volume of water is 1.37 billion cubic kilometers. And then, how about the topography of the ocean floor? The surface beneath the oceanic waters is characterized by a lot of relief features. The structures, configuration, and relief features of the oceans also vary from each other. All major oceans and sea vary in their size, shape, depth, real extensions, and in all other respects like temperature, density, salinity, and chemical compositions. The marine geological, chemical and geological information and data are very fast and useful for studying and analyzing the oceans. On the basis of bathymetry and other studies, the morphology of ocean basin include continental margins, the ocean basin, and mid ocean ridge. Okay, now I'd like to move on to the topography of the ocean floor. Topography of the ocean floor has three components. First, continental margins, and this include continental shelf, continental slope, and continental rise. And the second, it deep ocean basin, include abyssal plains, abyssal hills, ocean trains, and etc. And the last is mid ocean range. Okay, next to the preview or slide, we can look the view about the continental margins, about the depth, and about the aerial extension, and shape about two continental margins. Continental margins, there is three points. Uh, first, the continental shelf. Continental shelf are the coastal plains. It's the first part of the water's edge. It includes the beach, mainly covered by unconsolidated sediments. These are subject to wave energy that move this sediment by converging on headlands. And, and then, next to the continental slope. The continental slope is the second part of the continental margins. We, we can look for the pictures, the shape is very steep and then continental slopes is the transition between the continental shelf and the deep ocean floor. And the third component is the continental rise. Continental rise is thick accumulation of sediment found at the base of the continental slope. And then the next slide we can explain about the ocean's basin. For this picture, we can to know some part of the ocean basin. The next slide, we can to know the ocean basin province is between the continental margins and mid-ocean ridges and includes a variety of features from mountainous to plate to flat plains. Uh, some part of the ocean, ocean basin is versus abyssal plains. Abyssal plains are broad flat areas of sediment covered ocean floor found between the continental margins and the mid-ocean ridge. And second is abyssal plain, abyssal hills. Abyssal hills are small, extinct volcanoes or rock instruction that poke up through the sediments coating the abyssal plains. And the third is simon. Simon are volcanoes that raise up from the sea floor, but which do not stick up until the sea level. But the last is guyot. Guyots are flat to flat to simons that can be demonstration lectures and more. Okay, for the next slide, we can explain about the mid-ocean ridge. We can to know about the preview or the big picture about the some parts of the mid-ocean ridge and the aerial extension about the mid-ocean ridge. Let's move on to the next slide. Ocean ridge are the most remarkable features. This cover nearly 23% of the Earth's surface. The mid-ocean ridge and rice are formed in zone of tension where plates diverge. 
These are the large single topography features in the world. These are considered as the world's largest mountain ranges exciting the low marine spotters. The mountains of Asian ranges are not similar to the mountains of continental. They exist as chains in the center of the oceanic basin that are rigid features. To the end of this presentation, I'd like to conclude uh, presentations today by summarizing the information. We can to know topography of the ocean floor have three component: it's uh, continental margins, uh, the ocean basin, and then the mid ocean range. So, uh, for the last, I would to say sorry about my mistake for the presentation.